PlayStation 5, Bluetooth audio devices, and streaming. It's an absolute nightmare, but we've got the easy fix here, so let's get into it. So it's an extremely old issue, um, but leave it to PlayStation, leave it to Sony. Uh, basically what happens if you're not familiar, when you throw on your headset, so for me I have my in-zone buds, as soon as I throw on my in-zone buds, the audio is no longer gonna play through the HDMI, therefore my capture card is not able to get the audio. Um, so if I want to capture my game audio as well as my party chat, it's not coming through. So we wanna figure out a way to have both of these be working at the same time, which would allow us to capture that audio on our capture card. In order to do this, we're gonna need two things. The first is the Chatlink Pro Cable. Make sure that's the Pro Cable uh, because it has the ground loop isolator. Without that, you're gonna get terrible hissing noises within your audio. So make sure that it is the Pro version of that cord. And then you're gonna need a second DualSense controller. So running you guys through kind of what the setup's gonna look like, here is my first DualSense controller. This is the controller that I'm gonna be gaming with. And then we have my second DualSense controller here. Okay, you're gonna notice that this one is plugged into my PlayStation, making sure that it's gonna maintain its charge because if I'm streaming for a long period of time, I can't have this controller die on me. If it does, we lose our audio. The second thing that you're gonna notice, okay, my Chatlink Pro cable. So we need to have both of these things plugged in in order for it to work. When using a wired headset, okay, you don't really have to worry about all of this confusing stuff when using a wired headset. You just plug in the second half here of your Elgato Chatlink Pro cable uh, and it's gonna work for you. But for us, we're gonna leave that empty because we are trying to use our wireless earbuds. All right, so the next thing that we need to do on our PlayStation, I have my first DualSense logged in with my main profile. I'm now going to turn on my second controller. I'm gonna hit add user, go to quick play, and then I'll be signed in as a guest. Okay, what you're gonna notice here is when I go over to the sound, it is going to say that I am connected to a headset on this controller. That part is crucial, okay? I'm not connecting this to my headset and I can't hit HDMI. If I do this, you'll see that all users audio output devices will switch to the TV. So now we are over on my PC. Okay, you're seeing this window, it looks like the PlayStation 5, but we are actually currently in the Elgato 4K capture utility. I use OBS to create and record and stream. Okay, but you need to download the 4K capture utility in order to change this one setting. So as I come into the application here, I'm gonna hit the settings cog, and then we're gonna to go to the device here. You'll notice here that my audio input is analog audio. This is going to start out as HDMI audio. In order for this signal to transfer through your controller, we need it to be analog audio. So once you've made that change, hit OK, and we'll follow into the next step. Now that we've changed it from HDMI to analog audio in the 4K capture utility, if I stop talking for a second, you'll be able to hear that my PlayStation audio is now coming through. Okay, we're able to hear it just fine. I have the audio turned down a little bit because it can tend to be a little bit loud. Um, but overall, it's there, it's working. There is one thing that I do wanna show you folks before I send you off. So let's get into that right now. All right, so even though in theory, everything that we've done up to this point should have it working, sometimes it likes to be a little bit buggy. So with your 4K capture utility, right now, you guys can see that my Elgato 4K X, it has audio, you can see the little green bar popping up when I move through the tiles. But sometimes, even when you go through all these steps, you're still not gonna get any audio coming through. So what you need to do is just flip between HDMI audio, you're gonna notice that it cuts out, and then when I go back to analog audio and I hit apply, it should pop back in. For me personally, when I've had issues with it registering and having the audio sent through, that's kind of been my main thing. I've just had to go back and forth hitting apply on the two different audio inputs, uh, and then eventually that uh, sound is gonna come through. I really hope this has been helpful. I know for me personally, it was one of the absolute biggest headaches that's ever existed. It was even a problem for me back on the PlayStation 4. I have a video on my YouTube channel from way back when, kind of running people through that same issue. I love my in-zone buds. I used to love my SteelSeries sonar headset that I had, and it was always an issue. So I'm really, really happy to have found a workaround. Um, obviously, you do need a couple things to make it work, um, but you kind of need them if that's what you're doing. So they kind of pigeonhole you in there and you have to do it, which sucks. Um, but it does work. Um, so if you guys give it a try, be sure to let me know how it goes for you down in the comments. If you have any troubles, be sure to ask me questions. I'm more than happy to help. Um, but that's about it that I got for you today. So hopefully you'll have a, lots of luck going forward with your streaming recordings. Uh, and yeah, that's all I got for you. See you guys next time. Peace.